So it's like, you know, I'm not going to front with you guys because y'all are my viewers. So I don't want to front with you guys. I'm not going to lie. During the test, when it came to like the math stuff, because it was a lot. I The stuff that I studied, like as far as the human body, DNA, they did have those questions here and there. But I believe that majority of the test was like math questions, data, graphs, climate, mass. And all that stuff, it really, it, I'm telling you, it really does incorporate. For me, my test had more math on it than about photosynthesis, the human body, um, the phases of matter. Like, it was here or there. And I thought that I was supposed to write like an essay or like a short answer response. I didn't even have to do that on the test. It was just straight um, questions that you had to answer. I'm not going to lie, you know, it did have a lot of math on it. So make sure you guys are studying graphs, analyzing data, um, you know, a lot of those things and how to calculate the mean, the median, um, you know, because that's very important. Now, if you, you're like me and you don't like math or you're not really good at math, Whew, I would just say, you know, really focus on that because I'm telling you, they're going to make that majority of the test, you know, math, calculating that, um, you know, the Earth's climate, weather, and they're going to give you a lot of graphs and stuff. So really focus on that. Photosynthesis, they only gave me maybe one or two questions on that. You know, I mean, that's easy to look up. What is photosynthesis? Um, they do, and this is straight, like, they will have a lot of questions also about, like, um, the hypothesis and, like, the scientific method. So make sure you guys are looking up what the scientific method is. Like, what is a hypothesis? How, on um, the independent variables and dependent variables. Like, you need to look up that because they, they gave me at least about four or five questions in different areas on the test about hypothesis and all that stuff and you know pick the picture on what tools that this person would need to design the experiment so really focus on the scientific method on um, the hypothesis and how you design an experiment because they will give you questions on that so I'm going to let you guys know that right now. But my test was like 38 questions. It was 90 minutes. It wasn't a long test. My test was like at 1.30. I got out like around 2.37, you know. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys know it, 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 what, it was easy. But when it came to the math, for me, it was hard because I'm not good at math, you know. But it's nothing that you cannot get through. And I I don't know if you guys, you know, whatever you believe in, but for me, I always pray. I always pray before I do anything, any test, even when I'm doing the GED ready. I say, God... Let me pass this test. Let me do what I have to do. You know what I need. You know that I'm coming in here to, to pass. And that is what it's about. And any time and every time that I pray, my Heavenly Father comes through for me. And, and that is the God honest truth. I prayed so hard before I went into that test. And I did doubt myself around the math part. I did. But God reassured me that you you did good you don't worry about it you did good and sure enough when I walked out I was kind of like kind of doubtful and I was just come going home and I was like yeah I don't know that math threw me off or I didn't really know the math part but sure enough I went to www.ged.com scroll down and my results said pass so I'm telling you guys, and this is, and I'm not going to get emotional, but people don't know where I started from. So this journey is a very emotional journey for me because, you know, at one point I felt like I don't need school. What, what the heck I need school for? Like, I want to do singing. I want to sing. I want to be the biggest song, songstress out here. But as you get older, 
you still love singing, you still love your dream, but you still want more. You still feel like you're missing something. And I felt like I was missing something. I felt like I was missing something. And that was my school and my GED. I felt like I wasn't whole. So to anybody looking at this, and I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart, if I can do it, you can do it. Study. Don't, don't only just study out of this book. Do further research. I'm telling you, if you're reading about photosynthesis, do further research on uh, photosynthesis. If you're reading about genetics and hereditary and dominant genes, do further research. That's what I did. I printed out papers on what is a claudogram and how to tell the different relationships between different animals and the re uh, the evolution of different animals and f uh, food chains. I did extra research. So when I saw those questions on the test, I it, it came to me like second nature. So don't only just look in this book, do further research. I'm, I'm even take y'all back. I even was doing, I was even watching Bill Nye, the science guy videos. And I'm telling you, those videos are amazing. They're, they're as just as old as I am. Like, <laughs> and, and they still are accurate um, videos that you can learn from. Do that as well. Bill Nye, do further research. Um, do these, uh, do, you know, scan the lessons that are in here and on, and just do it on paper. You don't have to write in the book, just scan them and then do them. They even have practice tests after each lesson in this book. I'm telling you, do those practice tests. Cause I'm telling you, the practice tests are just like the real test. I'm telling y'all. So, you know, daughter cells and chromosomes and DNA and genetics, all that stuff was mixed in to science. So I'm telling y'all, it's nothing. If I can do it, if I can pass it, y'all can pass it. I'm telling y'all, you got to pray, stay focused, tunnel vision. And that is what it's about. And, you know, you always look, look at what I'm doing right now. My next subject is social studies. So I have two down and I have two more to go. And with the grace of God, I will pass my math and my social studies but this little clipboard that i got from the dollar tree i always use it these this um little bit of this little notebook also i brought from the dollar tree you don't have to get nothing special you know get you some paper get you uh, a clipboard or whatever and just write definitions like right now i'm doing social studies my next subject is social studies so i'm doing definitions so i can understand what i'm reading that's very important. I'm going to do further research on the, <clears throat> the Bill of Rights and all these things that make up history and social studies because I'm doing extra research. So when I get on the test, I know what they're talking about. It's very important, but it, it, it's simple. I was never the study person. I, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I don't like studying, but when you truly want something out of life, you'll study. Okay, so that is what I'm doing right now. So my next subject is social studies. If you are taking science GED, um, keep your head up, stay focused. If you don't know it, process of elimination, common sense, prayer, um, extra research, further research, look up everything from genetics, hereditary, um, DNA, look it all up, weather, the climate, um, the scientific method, all that stuff is on there. Math included too, the mean, the median, all that stuff is included in it. You know, mass, calculating the mass and all that stuff. If you're good with math, then that should be nothing to you. But um, just focus on that and analyze the data, graphs, all that stuff is on there. I'm telling y'all. So I hope that this video helped y'all. Um, I'll be here sitting, talking all day if um, <laughs> I let y'all know. But it was 38 questions, 90 minutes. I passed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I passed. And now I'm moving on to subject number three. And I know that I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to make it. I know I'm going to pass it. I claim it and it is. And you should claim it and, and it's going to be.
because you are in control of your own destiny. So I hope that this video helped you guys. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for taking the time out to write me. To every anyone who's watching this and you know who you are, who have writ, wrote me on Instagram telling me about, you know, your journey with getting your GED. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, congratulations if you have passed any of your tests. I just want to say I am so proud of you. I don't even have to know you to say I'm proud of you. And thank you guys so much for all your love and your support on my videos, on these type of videos. If you want to see more of these videos, then get down in that comment section. Let me know what you thought about this video or my previous video. And make sure you thumbs up this video. Like it, share it, comment on it. I don't care. Just um, stay focused. Do it. We can do this. We can get our GEDs. It's never too late, okay? I love you guys. It's your girl, April, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!